gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. This is your first time coming across the channel. Don't hesitate and press that subscribe button. Thumbs up or a comment below would be really appreciated. You're probably wondering why I'm not wearing a Celtic jersey. I thought I'd put the old 2018 Mexico top on for a change. But the good news is, player number five is in the door of this transfer window under the Ange regime in January. So I want to give a massive thank you to Ange and a massive thank you to Michael Nicholson getting this guy in. We fought with five clubs to get this guy over the line. 1.5 million Matt O'Reilly, six foot one English midfielder that played for MK Dons. It was 1.5 million, but half of it will go to Fulham as a sell on clause. 30 appearances this season in League One, seven goals, four assists. I'm excited about this lad. It just gave me, it gives me, it gives me that vibe. It's real Tom Rogers, like you know, pushing up, tall, good with his feet, left foot as well. He knows, he knows the Celtic roots. He went to school with Paddy Roberts. Paddy Roberts was a couple of classes ahead of him in school. And he played his trade with Stefan Johansson at Fulham as well. And his former coach was Peter Grant. So there's a bit of Celtic connection there. He said that Ange rang him up and he said it was no brainer. Once he got out the found that Ange he wanted to sign for Celtic. He likes his, he, he likes the course and style of his philosophy of football, the way they're gonna play as well. So look at him delighted to get this lad over the line. You know, he's one for the future. It was 1.5 million, as I said. Time will tell. He got the number 33 short as well, so never know. He might play the weekend against Alloa. Fingers crossed. If not, he'll make his debut at Tyne Castle. And the last person to make his debut at Tyne Castle for Celtic is the birthday boy, Kyogo. Massive happy birthday to Kyogo. He's been outstanding since he came in from Japan. And he's one of the fans' favourites, you know. At the end of the day, the amount of goals he's had to score so far... Helping us win the League Cup. He's been unbelievable in the league as well. And he's just, you know, I've, I've, I haven't seen a striker press like him since Larson. Since Larson. And that says something, you know. So um, let's see what happens with Kyogo. And he links up with Moyeda. It's going to be vicious. It's going to be absolutely vicious up front. The two Japanese boys was pressing and pressing. But good stuff. Bit of bad news. Reports come from Portugal that um, Benfica's manager which re recently took over from the pro the former manager because they're torn in the league, going through a bit of a turmoil at the moment. Jota's parent club are looking to take Jota back at the end of the season. Now, there's talks in it, in the contract, the loan, loan contract, that we have an option to buy him for €7 million Euros at, the end of the, at the end of the summer. I don't know if this is going to happen. You know, he's had to play 19 games, 8 goals, 7 assists. He's been the best left winger we ha have since Scott Sinclair and he's exciting to watch that skill like you know it's unbelievable he gets he gets the fans off their seats as well unbelievable so hopefully Jota can happen if we can't get Jota in this window I think we're going to miss out on getting him in the summer I really believe we're going to miss out and we need to get Jota permanent deal if they want 9 million give them the extra few bob once we can clear out the dead woods as I said yet there's still no talks of Balangoli still up in the air, Barca still up in the air, Soro still up in the air. There's no one that hasn't put in solid offers for these boys. And if we can clear these lads out for about six million for the total price of the for them, happy days. As I made my feelings on this channel, I'd rather keep Soro. I'm send him alone and bring him back. He just needs to nurture as a player. I think there's potential there for Soro. I really do. I know it's like a new lad that they're coming in, but I don't know what's going to happen with James McCarthy in the summer. You know, he's not really getting much first team football and he doesn't really look up fitness wise. He doesn't look great as well. I know he's been injured, but Sorrow can do a job. He just needs to develop more. He's only still only young, like he's still in his early 20s. So let's see what happens there. But that's really it. So fifth signing in, Matt O'Reilly. Welcome to the Celtic Football Club. The name Royley stands in some people's heads from last week, but you know, fuck that. Fuck that prick at the end of the day. He's gone to Millsbury. He's, he's all news. We have a guy in that wants to play for the short. Subscribe to the channel. Speak to us all soon. Hail fucking hail.